We are at Tippecanoe New Valley High School here on uh, a winter's night, December 22nd. We are here today to view the Tippecanoe New Valley Vikings face off against the Laville Lancers in this non-Three Rivers Conference matchup. I'm Nate Roberts. I'm Mitch Smith. You're watching RTC4. Now, this is going to be RTC's last broadcast of boys basketball here this year until 2018. So, also, I think this is going to be the last game for Valley, if, I, if I'm correct. If, this, if it's true, what do you think we will see from the players knowing that this is going to be their last game until next until 2018? Well, I think they're getting ready for that little winter break there with practice. And I think that they're going to work really, really, really hard at um, just bouncing the ball better. We saw that um, we had a uh, pretty good game last game we did, which I believe was Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday, it was against Culver where we won that. Yes, it was a really good game to watch, and hopefully we get another win. Um, unfortunately, our JV, which we have seen play previously, has just lost. But we are looking for much bigger and better things for the varsity. Isn't that right, Nate? Most definitely. Uh, I've gotten word, and the next game Valley will be playing will be on January 5th uh, at against Northfield. So this will be the last game for 2017 for the boys. So... I kind of expect the boys to have a bit of momentum knowing that they want to enter a break with a W instead of an L. So I, ca I will see probably a little bit more energy, a little bit more determination for the boys. Yeah, I agree. And I think that um, the boys will have um, a good amount of, I guess, oomph is the proper term for it. And uh, we're getting ready to see these boys come out. Um. Now we all know that uh, Valley, even though they're having a bit of a down season, they have uh, won their last game against Culver. Now, I do recall you uh, interviewing uh, Chad Patrick, the head coach for uh, the Valley Boys, and you did say that he plans to have a start of a win streak, which that was a win. Do you think we're going to see another win here for the boys? Um, most definitely. I have full confidence in these boys. I mean, this is a um, really good team to face off with and a really big team that's going to make them work hard for that W. But I think it's definitely going to be a good game to watch and certainly a good game for them in terms of growth. Um, they are most definitely going to try for that win and get a win streak going, or at least try to, tonight. Now, of course, at Culver, uh, the leading scorer for that was uh, Alex Morrison. So I kind of expect him to be uh, on another scoring edge tonight. I most definitely agree. When we saw him last, it was just like boom, boom, boom. He was getting the shots in and in and in. And so were his other players. Um, Coach Patrick said himself that these players are really, really good shooters, but he wanted them mostly to work on their defense a little bit more and work on better passing. Now, another player from, uh, from Tuesday's game that kind of uh, made me notice him more is uh, the sophomore Jace Potter as uh, Tuesday was his first start of the season, and he ended up with uh, like eight points. Yeah, um, when I interviewed Coach Patrick, he said he was going to shake it up a little bit, and he certain, most certainly did. I think uh, having him star was pretty crucial in that because uh, his scoring kind of held Valley with the uh, edge against Culver on Tuesday. Yeah, it was a... Uh a very good game. They won by a good amount of points, and uh, they hopefully will pull out another win tonight. Um, this is going to be kind of a rough team to face against, but it's going to be a good team and a good challenge for them. 
Um, he said, Coach Patrick said that he wanted to fit all the pieces together like a puzzle piece. He said, some games they have really good shooting. Some games they have less fouls than others. Some games they have less turnovers. And um, he wanted to put all those pieces together and basically just push them into a um, new winning streak and hopefully onto state. So with tonight, with, the, with these boys' momentum to enter a huge break with a W and uh, with how they really want to turn the season around for the first year uh, head coach, I think that the boys will be starting off, well, not starting off, I think that they're going to come out of this game with a W against the Lancers. Um, we're going to pause for a short break. Um, we will be right back after this. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. Shepherd Chevrolet Buick in Rochester treats you like family. Shepherd's offers a wide variety of new and certified pre-owned vehicles to fit your budget. Stop out for your test drive today online at shepherdsrochester.com. Woodlawn Hospital, offering state-of-the-art care for Fulton County for over 100 years. Woodlawn Hospital is the area's health care leader. Comprehensive care from head to toe, online at woodlawnhospital.com. Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. So after that break, uh, we should be seeing tip-off here. First off, starting lineup. What energetic starters tonight for the Laville Lancers. Starting at forward, six foot four inch senior, number 23, Jacob Good. At the other forward position, the six foot four inch senior, number 41, Dalton Dove. The Lancers are coached by Mr. Michael Edison, assisted by Jason Reed, Jack Edison, and Javon Miller. And now for your Valley lineup. Was your starting lineup, folks? Looks like uh, Patrick will still be rolling with Potter in that starting lineup over Melanson, and based on that last game, it's proved to have a an effect. Yeah, it's uh, been a very, very um, good starting lineup. We saw our lead scorer again, Alex Morrison, and um, our uh, fresh or er, sophomore uh, newcomer Jace Potter. <clears throat> it looks like uh, Morrison and Jacob Good will be tipping off. Jump, 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 jump. 
The tip is up, and it's won by Valley. Uh, to PD. Morrison to Cameron Parker. Parker's dribbling it. Passes it to Trapiti. Trapiti over to Dakota Parker. Inside to Jace Potter. Potter over to Morrison. Morrison pass over to Trapiti. Trapiti now at the top of the three point line. Kicks it over to Dakota Parker. To Cam Parker. Trapiti with that wing three. No good. Too much to the left. That one is pulled in by Dalton Dove. That shot's up, and it's no good by Luke Beeler. Trapiti now, he's heading up the court. Trapiti to Cam Parker, wing three, and that no one's off. Good. Pulled in by Dove. Here comes a Wig Zurich. That one's uh, going to be out on Valley. Uh, I believe that was uh, that hit Dakota Parker on the uh, stomach. So far, it's looked like a very almost violent game, very rough, very fast-paced basketball, which is what we like to see here on RTC4. And that, that was good. That three was good by Luke Bueller. That will put a Laville on the board first. Chapiti. Wig Zurich is on him. Chapiti to Parker. Parker loses his dribble inside to Potter. Potter, Trapiti. Trapiti is driving. That one's... T oh, Morrison still ends up with it. Morrison does a pull-up. No good. good. That one is pulled in by Riley Cox. Here comes Bueller. Here comes... Bueller, three. That one's good again. Looks like Be Bueller may be the main shooter for these... LaVille Lancers. Trapiti now. Trapiti inside to Morrison. And that one almost stolen by Wig Zurich, but he still ends up with it. Dakota Parker now has it. Parker, he trips, and that will be a jump ball. It is. It will be LaVille's ball. Jacob Good set to inbounds. With Zurich, he gets the inbounds. Jogging up the court. Beeler to with Zurich. Cox. Now. Beeler. No, no good. good. That was his first miss. That one's good. That one's good by good. That will be a shooting foul for a chance to get a three-point play. That was a foul on Trapiti. That's his first foul. From substitutions, uh, Melan West Melanthin and Parker Dalrymple are in for Dakota Parker and Jace Potter. Dalrymple we've seen do really, really well in the past. Most specifically beyond the arc. That man can shoot threes like really, really easily. With Zurich now, Beeler, pump fake. He's driving inside. That floater is good. LaVille now at 10, Valley at zero. That will be a timeout. And with that, we'll be right back after this. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff at Peterson Wagoner and Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. RTC Fiber Communications. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice, data, and video connectivity for the 21st century. Local service, local support, local investment. Online at rtc1.com. Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. At Tippecanoe New Valley High School, where we still have 5-10 left to go in the first quarter, things are 
looking interesting as LaVille has a lead 10-0. I'm Nate Roberts. I'm Mitch Smith. You're watching RTC's broadcast of Tipica New Valley Vikings basketball. We're seeing Trapedi now. He's uh, coming up half court. Morrison, Dalrymple for three. That, that one's good. good. And they will need those threes tonight. Dalrymple puts Valley on the board for the first time tonight. Cox with that three, no, no good. good. And that will be Valley possession. Parker Dalrymple and his ability to shoot the three, it could help them with this early uh, deficit. I most certainly agree. We've seen him do really, really, really well in the past, especially with those threes. And we really need them up there tonight, especially with this rough of a game going on. We're seeing uh, Parker now. Parker over to Dalrymple. Back to Parker for PD. Melanson now getting his first touch. Almost stolen there. Dalrymple ends up with it. Trapedi. Trapedi over to Parker. Parker to Morrison. Parker. Inside to Morrison. Morrison with that fade away. That one's That's good. good. Alex Morrison, I am I'm pretty certain that he's going to have himself a good game tonight. I can feel it too. I can feel it in the engine energy. These boys are going to fight with all their might. <laughs> Did you catch my rhyme? Um, to get the W tonight. So we got that turnover on LaVille and Valley will get possession. They cut the lead to half. Uh, Dalrymple now. Dalrymple to Trapedi. Trapedi to Parker in the corner. Driving along the baseline. Pass to Dalrymple. Melanson with that shot. No, no good. good. That one will be pulled in by Dalton Dove. That will be LaVille's possession. That foul is on Alex Morrison. That's his first foul, and Valley will have two now for the half. Here comes Wig Zurich to Cox. Back to Wig Zurich. Beeler. Wig Zurich to Cox now. That will be an air ball. I believe he was I believe Cox was trying to hit up a player for an alley oop, but that ended up to be a failure, which is what Valley needs at the moment. Well, a failure on LaVille's not part, not Valley's part. <laughs> Parker. Trapedi, that was tipped by Beeler. Trapedi with that pull in three, no good. That will be pulled in by Beeler. With Zurich laying good. Deep pass to Trapedi by Cameron Parker. Morrison now has it. Dalrymple, Dalrymple a wing three. No good. Too short. And that will be another foul. That will be on LaVille, it looks like, as Trapedi is setting out to inbounds. That's a foul on Luke Bueller. That's his first foul. Trapedi inbounds. Dalrymple with that pull up. No, no good. good. Pulled in by Melanson. Melanson to Cam Parker. Parker with that lay in. No, no good. good. That will be pulled in by Jacob Good as now we're seeing Luke Bueller coming up the court. Valley really needs to cut off that lead, especially in the first half. It'll do a lot for their morale to keep it tight at the very least to the halfway mark. Uh, Valley will look like, uh, it looks like they fouled. Uh, we're, we're getting... Foul that's a foul on Alex Morrison. That's his second foul. Uh, some substitutions. Uh, Jace Potter will be in for Morrison. That oop was good. Valley at five, LaVille at 14. Nine point game here. Trapedi now to Dalrymple. Inside the Potter. Potter does a hook shot. No, no good. good. Pulled in by Jacob Good. Here come Beeler. Beeler driving. Inside to Good, which that was taken away by Wes Melanson. We're seeing Cam Parker now inside to Trapedi. 
that was no good, or at least not counted for. That will not be a shooting foul, so that lay-in by Trapiti does not count. Potter, Trapiti, Melanson does a three. No that good. one's good, no good. Cam Parker gets that rebound and looks to be a foul on LaVille. We need those fouls from the LaVille right now, let me tell you. Valley does indeed. That's a foul on with Zurich. That will be his first foul. Chapiti inbounds, deep pass to Dalrymple who tips it to Melanson. Chapiti now. Chapiti to Dalrymple. Dalrymple to Trapiti. Along the baseline, Trapiti gets it. That will be his first basket, his first two points. That now cuts the lead in half. With Zurich. Over to Good. Deep pass over to Jared Beeler. No good, thank goodness. <laughs> uh, it's Cameron Parker now. Fast break, cut. Ooh, Potter almost loses a ball there, but Dalrymple, uh, that floater was no good. It's pulled in by Wixorek, who's now coming up the court. Wixorek over to Beeler. Back to Wixorek, he does a three. That one's good. Deep pass to Melanson. Trapiti. Trapiti over to Cam Parker. Back to Trapiti. Trapiti. I believe that that is indeed a turnover on uh, Valley. I do recall one of the goals being no turnovers or very few. And um, I do believe that's the goal within any game, but. Um, especially with uh, their coach and um, he's really, re the new coach is really pulling hard to, um, I guess, boost his resume a bit. That's any team's goal. Whether you're Valley or you're not Valley, your goal is to have very few turnovers as possible. And so far, it looks to be on the road to be a goal that will not be hit. But again, this is only the first quarter. Things do look to change after the first quarter. The first quarter, I guess you can, I guess I can say that part of me thinks it's only a warm-up quarter. It's not exactly what determines the game. Dakota Parker inbounds to Trapiti. He's at half court now. Luxoric is on him. Trapiti over to Dalrymple. Dalrymple to Trapiti. Inside to Jace Potter. He no good. Bueller pulls it in. Bueller, his face is racing to the court, and he gets that one. 19 to 7, and Laville is winning the game so far. And with that said, we'll be cutting to commercial break right now. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, farm personal property, and farm outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at evansagencyrochester.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank, online at firstfederalbanking.com. Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. So after that quick break here at Tippecanoe Valley High School, uh, both teams look to get back on the court here as LaVille leads Valley 19-7. Yes, and it's looking like a very interesting game tonight, Nate. It's uh, been a rough game for Valley, most certainly, at least so far, and they're hoping to pick up the slack. Yeah. 
I have a feeling that Valley will have a scoring surge. More specifically, I think Alex Morrison will kick in this quarter. Dalrymple, that will be a traveling on Dalrymple. Uh, we're seeing the first minutes here for Jalen Shepard, and we're seeing Dakota Parker back in. Rick Zorick now, he's uh, walking up the court, now jogging. Over to uh, Dove. Dove. Rick Zorick stops his dribble. Bueller. Dove. Pass to Rick Zorick. Double team. Rick Zorick over to Bueller. To Dove. Back to Bueller. Double team on the line. Rick Zorick. And that one's stolen. Speaking of steals, Dove just got himself one. And we're seeing now Luke Bueller coming up the court. Luke Bueller to Exoric. All the way over to Jared Bueller. Jared closely guarded by Parker. Inside to Dove. Dove gets that shot and it will be a shooting foul. That's a foul on uh, Dalrymple. That's his first foul. That will be Valley's fourth. Dalton Dove will be shooting too. That one is up. Too no short. good. Too short. Hits the front iron. Thank goodness too. <laughs> that one is up. No good. Too powerful. Morrison pulls that one in. Morrison is now coming up the court. Dakota Parker to Dalrymple. Dalrymple to Cam Parker. Almost loses his dribble there. Dalrymple crosses over Dove. He does a pull up. That one's good. Cameron Parker. Cameron Parker just did a crossover there. I mean, not one of those crossovers that had a huge effect, but he did a crossover. Shot no good by Jared Bueller and uh, Alex Morrison pulls it in. Cam Parker. Cam Parker, he loses his dribble after that. We're seeing Dakota Parker. He does a three. Too no short. good. Pulled in by Morrison, and Morrison gets, gets that Alex one in. Morrison. Alex Morrison, that makes it four for the junior. You were certainly right, Nate. It seems that he is certainly kicking it in tonight. Shot no good by Bueller, and that one's pulled in by Jalen Shepard. Oh, That's a foul on LaVille. Uh, oh, that one's a foul on Luke Bueller. That's his second foul. Some substitutions for LaVille. 546 left to go in the half. Uh, Cameron Parker, he gets that inbounds. Parker crosses over Cox, and, but he loses the ball, but Dakota Parker pulls it in. Parker, closely guarded, and that will be Valley Ball. Five thirty-two left to go in the half, and the score sits at 19-11. Parker Dalrymple will be inbounding. Here comes Dakota Parker now. He gets that. Inside to Morrison. Morrison to Cam Parker. He does a pull up. No good. That will be Jacob Good who gets it. Cox, deep pass to Wixorik. Back to Cox. That will be a foul on Valley. That doesn't look to be a shooting foul, which I don't think it is. That's a foul on Dalrymple. That's his second foul. That will be Valley's fifth. Tanner Trapiti coming back in. Riley Cox to inbounds. Jacob Good gets it. That will be a jump ball. That jump ball was a good thing because had it not been a jump ball, that would have been an easy basket there for Jacob Good. 
Cox to inbounds. Really deep pass. That one's still good. Rick Zurich. Rick Zurich to Wagner to Cox. Cox does a pull up, no good. I believe that will be an over the back foul. That is a foul on Wy Riley Cox. It will be Riley possession. Trapiti back to Parker. Parker's now coming up the court. Parker loses his dribble to Shepard. Parker back to Shepard who tries to save the ball but Cox ends up with it. He's coming up the court. Cox with it. Shot attempt up and that one's good by uh, Leighton Zar Zarnicki. Now 11 point game. Cox gets that steal, good. With Zurich. Zarnecki. Cox. Now he now has it. Deep pass to with Zurich. Pump fakes. Ooh. That looked like it hurt. Yeah, and the, and the last thing you want to do is uh, throw the ball at the head coach's dad, who just happens to be second in Indiana's all-time uh, wins list for boys basketball. Yeah, that's not a good idea. I wouldn't imagine at least. Parker, Morrison, that one's good. Alex Morrison. That makes it sick for Morrison, and I believe my expectations was right. It looks like Morrison will be kicking off this hat, this quarter with the score and surge. That one's stolen by Morrison where Parker gets it. Parker, that one's tipped, but Parker still ends up with it. 3.28 left to go in the second quarter. The score sits at 22-13. Uh, Lavelle with the lead. Morrison, he gets that pass. Morrison does a pull-up jumper from the top of the key. No good, and that will be Valley. That one's swatted by good. Morrison to Trapiti. Trapiti inside. Ooh. That will be a turnover on Valley as I believe that was a traveling call. Jared Beeler reports in for the Jared Beeler will be in for uh, Zarnecki. Jacob Good set to inbounds. With Zerke. With Zurich. Uh, Dove, he has it. With Zurich now with it. Dove almost steps out of bounds, but he saves himself. Beeler to Wixorik. Back to Jared Beeler. Cox now has it. Here comes uh, Jared Beeler back to Riley Cox. Wixorik with that three. That one's good. I'll be honest, Nate. I'm having trouble seeing some of Valley's good defense that they usually have. And that will be a shooting foul. Well, foul for 23, good. Yeah, Valley's defense, Alex their Morrison inside game is good, but so far they've been lacking the perimeter through the perimeter D from the three-point line, which I have a feeling is really, really crucial to basketball in general. Like the Golden State Warriors, for example, they've gotten good due to their excel from the three-point line. And so I think LaVille is having a gain uh, of the game because of that. As soon as Valley figures out how to guard the three uh, as good as normal, they will be in good shoes. They will be in smooth sailing for the rest of the game. That's a foul on Dalton Dub. That's his uh, first foul. That would be Laville seventh, and that will put Wes Melanson on the line to shoot the bonus. Melanson, that first one is good. That puts Melanson up. 
It's now an 11 point game, 25-14, and here with 2.25 to go in the half. That one is up, no good. good. Pulled in by Riley Cox. Wigzorek now he has it. Back to Cox, pump fakes. That was tipped, but Jared Beeler still gets it, and that one is no good. That will be Jacob Good who gets that rebound. Dakota Parker closely guarding Cox inside to Dove. Dove, that one is, ooh, Jacob Good ends up with it, and that shot is good. Jacob Good. Just like his surname. Here comes Trapiti. He loses his dribble to Morrison. Morrison does a lay-in, and it's no good. Rolls off the back, back iron. Dalrymple does a three. Bounces off the back iron. Dove. Jared Beeler now to Cox. Back to Beeler, who does a pull-up three. That one's no good. Wigzorek now has it. Inside to Good. To Dove, who does a shot. That one's no good. Pulled in by Jacob Good. And that one, it will be taken by Alex Morrison, but that will be a foul. That's a foul on Connor Wigzorek. That will be his second foul. That will be Laville's eighth, and that will put Alex Morrison on the line. Alex Morrison with uh, the bonus shot, or shots, depending if he makes it or not. Morrison, that one is up, and it will be no good, but it's pulled in by Cameron Parker, but Wagner, uh, no, Zarnecki, excuse me, gets it. Zarnecki, ooh. That will be a turnover instantly on LaVille. It will be Valley possession. LaVille foul recorded Riley Cox. That will, be a foul, that will be a foul on Riley Cox. That will be his second foul, and that will be LaVille's ninth. LaVille is in foul trouble here, which is what Valley wants and what they need. Cam Parker gets it. Parker being double teamed. Risky pass to Petey, who gives it back to Morrison, to Melanson, who does a pull-up shot. Too short. Riley Cox gets it. He's coming up. Jared Beeler back to Cox. Does some dribbling. Inside to Dalton Dove. That one's stolen by Tanner Trapiti, who's now racing up the court. Trapiti behind the back pass to Dakota Parker, and he misses that. Riley Cox now has the ball. Cox over to Jared Peeler. 12 seconds left to go in the half. That one inside. Good. Jacob Good, good. Jacob Good. Morrison. Half court heave, and it's too much to the right. And thus, folks, we will be cutting to halftime. And so we'll be right back after this. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. Blue Dragon Taekwondo. Whether you want to learn self-defense, physical cross-training, or looking to compete in national tournaments, Blue Dragon Taekwondo is the area's leading martial arts authority. Online at tkdbluedragon.com. RTC Fiber Communications. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice, data, and video connectivity for the 21st century. Local service, local support, local investment. Online at rtc1.com. Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. And so um, we are here back at Tippecanoe Valley High School. I'm Nate Roberts. I'm Mitch Smith. You're watching RTC's broadcast of this game. You're either viewing it on YouTube, on Facebook, or on television. Now, of course, uh, we are sitting here 
as Valley is losing by 15, 29 to 14. Um, hey Mitch, what do you think, what did you thought about Valley's performance in the first half? I'll be honest, I thought that it was okay at some points and other points it was a little weak, especially on the defense. We saw some sloppy defense, which I didn't necessarily think was the best, and we saw really good defense on Tuesday. And I think it's just the stress, personally, and I feel like they can definitely come back. Yeah, what killed them in the first half was their inability to defend the three-point line. As, as I believe, I'm, I'm not keeping score for LaVille, I believe LaVille has a pretty good amount of three-pointers. So I think what... Uh, Patrick would love to have his team do here in the second half defend the three. That's practically their primary goal I believe here in the second half and and who knows within the first minutes I think it'll show whether or not that's their main priority. I most definitely agree Nate and um, they're definitely going to have to fight with the ferocity of the Vikings basically to get this ball to where it needs to be and um, I feel like they can definitely do that. Jacob Good gets a steal with Zorek layup no good pulled in by Alex Morrison there goes steal and Jacob Good gets that lay in. That will put LaVille up on the board first here in the second half. Here comes Dakota Parker Alex Morrison now, he has it. Morrison does a jumper, no good. Morrison gets his own rebound. Cameron Parker, pull up jumper, good. Yes, we are now at 16 to 31. Uh, Cameron Parker now has four. With Zorik to Cox, over to Luke Bueller, back to Cox, to Rick Zorik from the corner, over to Bueller. Bueller, with Zorik for three, no good. That is a foul on uh, LaVille. Trapiti heading down the court. You know, Trapiti is also involved in other things with basketball. He's involved in football, baseball, and student council. Trapiti here uh, is, is a key player for Valley, even though, uh, no, he has uh, two points so far. Trapiti, he's uh, driving up to Cam Parker. Back to Trapiti, he drives inside and he grabs his own rebound after that. Dakota Parker loses his dribble. Trapiti, Jays, that's Whoa. a jump ball. And that will be LaVille's possession. That was a little interesting little fight for the ball down on the ground there. It was uh, <laughs> Jace Potter, uh, he's sitting at zero points and zero fouls. Cox over to D Dove. To Cox, to Wixorik. Loses his dribble to Luke Bueller. Cox now has it. Over to... Uh, Bueller. Bueller Some to Exoric. Rough basketball tonight. And we're seeing some really fast passes as I think so far we haven't really seen any three shot and there's been like a little under two minutes that's been uh, through so far this uh, this uh, half. Trapedi now. That pass is tipped by Zorik, but he grabs his own uh, ball. Trapiti does a wing three. Good. Good. That puts Valley up on the board again. Dove over to Exoric. Pump fakes. Here comes uh, Bueller now. Bueller over to Exoric. Back to Bueller. Bueller. Duh, uh, Cox saves our ball. Rick Zorik over to Jacob Good. Bueller, Cox, inside to Dove. Ooh. That will be an and a one. 
I, I believe that foul is on uh, Alex Morrison. It is on Alex Morrison. That makes it his third. It will be Valley's first. Yes, and you know, Alex Morrison uh, was a really good thing for us in football. Um, and uh, he was a really important key player for us. This is going to be an important... Uh, He's an important athlete for this high school, and he's only a junior, so he still has one more year to go. We're seeing uh, Parker now. Uh, he's coming up the court. Parker over to Dakota Parker. Parker gets out of that close defense. Trapedi now has it. He does a pull-up jumper. That one's no good, and it. we're seeing loose ball. Cam Parker gets it. Inside to Jalen Shepard. We're seeing a foul there. That's a foul on Luxorik. That's his third foul. Trapeding will be set is set to inbounds. Trapedi. Pass to Shepard and I believe that will be a shooting foul. And it is. That's a foul on Dove. That's his second foul. And the junior will be set to shoot two. Here comes Shepard. That one is up and it's no good. Here comes his second one. That one is up, and that one's good. Jalen Shepard makes one of two, and he gets a point tonight. Wigzork over to Cox. Back to Wigzork. Over to Cox. Inside to Dove. Dove breaks free of that close defense, and Jace Potter ends up with it. He's running down the court, and he gets that lay-in. Jace Potter, this is his second start of the season, and he's getting up the board. No foul call there, but Dove ends up with it. Goes in and out. Dove grabs his own rebound, and there is the foul. That's a foul on Dakota Parker. That's his first foul. Valley second. Cox is set to inbounds. Good gets it. Ooh. Hawks just tried to pass it over, but it hit Cam in the face. You can expect a bruise there for uh, the night, for the rest of the night, and probably tomorrow too. Cam Parker, speaking of, is set to inbounds. Dakota gets it, passes back to his brother. Here comes Cam over to Trapedi. Trapedi to Cam. Dakota now. You know, Dakota is a really speedy player. He also holds our 400 track record. And uh, Parker is really lucky that that pass was last touched by Dove. Otherwise, that would have been a Laville possession. And at a time like this, that's pretty crucial. Parker, Cam, that pass was tipped, but Parker saves it over to Dalrymple. That, that was last tipped over by Luke Beeler, and it will be still Valley possession. Chapiti is set to inbounds. Here comes Cam Parker. Over to Jace Potter to Chapiti now. Trying to set up the offense there, Chapiti. Trapedi is now holding on to the ball. Here comes Dalrymple. Dalrymple loses his dribble, kicks it over. Dalton Dove with that steal. Dove is racing up. He gets that lay in. That one's good. Here comes Dalrymple. Dalrymple inside. Jace Potter. That was blocked by Beeler, and Dove gets it. Impressive defense by LaVille there. We're seeing Beeler. Cox shoots a three. That one's good. 
It bounces off each side of the rim. And that will be a timeout here. And thus, we'll be right back after this. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. Shepherd Chevrolet Buick in Rochester treats you like family. Shepherd's offers a wide variety of new and certified pre-owned vehicles to fit your budget. Stop out for your test drive today online at shepherdsrochester.com. Woodlawn Hospital, offering state-of-the-art care for Fulton County for over 100 years. Woodlawn Hospital is the area's health care leader. Comprehensive care from head to toe, online at woodlawnhospital.com. Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. Welcome back here. Uh, welcome back to Tippecanoe Valley High School. I'm Nate Roberts. I'm Mitch Smith. You're watching RTC4's broadcast of Tippecanoe Valley uh, Vikings basketball. We are here as Valley is losing to the LaVille Lancers 39-22 uh, with 2.49 left to go here in the third quarter. This will be the last game for the Vikings until 2018. Dakota Parker now has it. Morrison. Here comes Dakota Parker. That pass is tipped by Dove and it's stolen by him. We're seeing Bueller now. He gets that over to Cox. Inside. That shot by Rigzorik is no good. That will be Laville's foul. That's a foul on uh, Riley Wagner. Trapiti over to Cam Parker. Trapiti over to Melanson. Back to Cam. He's driving inside, gets that floater. That will be a shooting foul. I believe that one is on Riley Cox. Uh, no, that's a foul on Dove. Here comes Parker. His first one is, uh, it's up. It's good. That will be Parker's first free throw made. He's now sitting at five points. Some substitutions. Uh, Cam Parker. He's dribbling. That one is up. It's good. That makes it six for the junior. McZorick over to Jared Beeler. To Riley Wagner. Back to Rick You know, a fun little fact. I used to play baseball with Cameron Parker, and he has a really good arm. We're, we'll see uh, how good he is when the baseball season comes around. Seeing Jacob Good now, he has it to Luke Bueller. That pass is stolen by Alex Morrison. Morrison is racing up and good. No, that one is no good. That's a follow on Riley Wagner, but that will not be an and one. Hey, it could have been worse. It could have been a foul on uh, Morrison. Rick Zorg gets that steal. They had to save with Zorg there. So there's that foul. That's a foul on West Melanson. That's his first foul. Valley's th uh, third. A minute 30 left to go in this third quarter. <clears throat> Pass almost stolen by Parker there. We're seeing uh, Bueller shot up no good. <clears throat> Pulled in by Jacob Good. That will be a jump ball. It's a jump ball and it will be LaVille's possession. Jared Beeler set to inbounds. We saw a bunch of disagreement with the crowd. Yes, that's one of the reasons why I love to go to basketball games is the crowd is so powerful. 
their voices are heard, but they ain't really, um, they aren't really enough to change anything. Ooh. Trapiti get that steal, but he didn't get the shot, and I believe, oh, that will be. That's a foul on uh, Quick Zurich. That's his fourth foul. Trapiti is sitting at five points with the opportunity to get six or seven total. Trapiti's up, good. That's six now for the June, uh, sophomore. Riley Cox, <clears throat> Riley Cox will be in for Jared Beeler. That one is up. Good. Trapiti now has seven. Here comes Beeler. Beeler over to Cox. Jared Beeler for three in and out. Wes Melanson pulls it in. <clears throat> With 52 seconds left to go here in the third quarter, Valley will be uh, coming up. Trapiti now has it. He's directing the offense. Alex Morrison over to Cam Parker. Cam Parker still has it. Floater up, no good. Pulled in by Jacob Good. Wagner. Here comes now Luke Bueller over to Riley Cox. He almost loses the ball there. Double teamed. Cox over to Bueller. Here comes uh, Zarnecki. Back to Bueller. Bueller. Lay in. Good. Wow. Here comes Dakota Parker. That one's up. It's not counted, even though it was good. And after that, the score sits uh, LaVille 41, Valley 26, and we'll be right back after this. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff at Peterson, Wagoner, and Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. RTC Fiber Communications. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice, data, and video connectivity for the 21st century. Local service, local support, local investment. Online at rtc1.com. Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. And so we are back here at Tippecanoe Valley High School. I'm Nate Roberts. I'm Mitch Smith. You're watching RTC's broadcast of Tippecanoe Valley against the LaVille Lancers here, whether on YouTube, Facebook, or television. Uh, we are here with 7.51 left to go here in the game. Uh, LaVille is leading Valley 41-26. That is a foul on Bueller. That's his third foul. Looks like uh, Dakota Parker will be shooting, too. That one's no good, and it's pulled in by Riley Cox. Here comes Bueller now, coming up the court. At Loses. first, I thought he was going to tip it in, and I was like... <laughs> Can't say that that hasn't happened before with any basketball team. There has been a few professional players who's even done that before. Cox over to Bueller. Back to Cox. To Bueller. Bueller does a three. That one's in. Yes, Bueller seems to be LaVille's main shooter tonight. That's good. Competing with that three. That, that now makes it. That makes it 10 for Trapiti. He is the first Valley player to hit double digits. Beeler. Stolen by Melanson. Here comes Cam Parker. Racing up. That will be a foul on LaVille. No foul, number 11. 
Jared Beeler. That's a foul on Jared Beeler. Pass it by Cameron Parker over the line, shooting one. Parker will be shooting one in the bonus. That's uh, Jared Beeler's first foul. That one is up. That one's good. That and one is complete. And it looks like it didn't take LaVille enough time to cross the half court line because that is a turnover. Dakota Parker will be inbounding. Parker over to Trapiti. Trapiti over to Alex Morrison. Morrison to Melanson. Melanson to Parker to Cam. Cam Parker does a pull in three, and that one's good. We're seeing a slight comeback in Tippecanoe Valley boys basketball. After Parker made that three, Jared Beeler comes up with one of his own. Dakota Parker now has the ball. Here comes Dakota Parker. He's holding it the wing. Melanson. Melanson hands it to Trapiti who's now directing the offense. Trapiti over to Morrison. Wes Melanson will be another one we're, we'll be highlighting during the baseball season. To Morrison, who does a pull up from the wing to short. Pulled in by Riley Cox. Here comes now Luke Bueller. Over to Wagoner. Back to Bueller. Bueller gets to the basket. That's a foul on West Melanson. That's his second foul. That'll be Valley's fourth. Five minutes. And seven seconds to go here in the game. Ooh. Too short. Hits the rim. That will be a foul on Cameron Parker as uh, he kind of collided there with uh, Luke Bueller. I was right, Cameron Parker with that foul. That will be his first foul. That will be Valley's fifth. Luke Bueller, who was the victim of that collision, will be inbounding. Passes it to Jared. Luke does a pull up from the wing. That one's good. Luke Bueller for three. This entire game, Valley has been killed by LaVille's ability to shoot from the three. Because we just, uh, we have witnessed so far LaVille make a pretty good amount of three-pointers. And for Valley, there's only been three players so far who's, who's able to hit about, who's been able to hit at least one. Trapiti making uh, two. Dalrymple with one and Cam Parker with one. Trapiti to inbounds. Dakota Parker to Trapiti. That will be LaVille ball. 4.42 left to go here in the game. Uh, LaVille has the lead against Valley, 50 to 35. Here comes uh, now Rick Zorik. Rick Zorik. That one will be, ooh. That was kind of rough. <laughs> kind of? <laughs> well, I shouldn't have said kind of. I should have said that was really rough. <laughs> Alex Morrison with that as he shoves, uh, I believe it was Dove to the ground. One thing about it, these Valley Vikings aren't afraid to play rough basketball. Except this isn't street ball, which had it been the case, then they probably would have won that. With Zurich over to Bueller. 
Here's a game of catch between the two. <laughs> Tell them it isn't baseball. This isn't football either. <laughs> Ooh, that will be an and one. That's a foul on Cam Parker. That's his second foul. That will be Valley's seventh. Valley is quickly coming up to the same foul count as uh, LaVille, and that's not a good thing to say, especially at a time like this. Hits the back rim and bounces up. Dakota Parker now has it. Here comes Parker, and he travels. He has traveled there, and it looks like uh, Valley will be on defense for that. Riley Cox set to inbounds. Here comes Luke Bueller. Bueller, Rick Zurich. Rick Zurich. Lay in, good. Here comes Trapiti now. Trapiti, the only Valley player so far to be in double digits, except uh, Cam Parker as well. That's a foul on West Melanson. That makes it his third foul. That will be Valley's eighth. They have tied the foul count uh, with LaVille with eight. Riley Cox will be shooting a bonus. He makes it in his first, and he will be shooting a second one after that. Three forty-six left in the half, uh, last half of the game. The game. Morrison inbounds to Chapiti. He's racing up the court. Chapiti over to Cam Parker. Over to Melanson. Melanson races back up to beyond the three. He loses his dribble at a bad place. Over to Chapiti, and Chapiti now uh, he's dribbling. Chapiti crosses over Cox and. I do believe that was a trip. That's a foul on Cox, and it will be a Trapiti shooting two. Trapiti's first one is good. That's now three free throws for the sophomore. That one is up. It's good. Rizuric now has it. Rizuric, fake pass to Bueller. Instead, hands it over to Cox. Jared Bueller with that pull up three. Hits the back iron. Cox ends up with it. Dove, pump fake. He misses that lay in, and it's pulled in by. Alex Morrison, but it will be foul on uh, Dove. Valley will be shooting the bonus. We'll go foul Dove. It's a foul on Dove. That's his fourth foul. It will be LaVille's tenth. One second under three minutes to go here. Or for some people, it's 2.59 to go. Uh, Valley is down to LaVille. 54th 37, now 38. Morrison makes his first. That's seven now for the junior. That one's up. And it's in the now. Luxoric ends up with it. Luxoric, he's now racing up. Over to Jared Bueller. To Cox. Cox raises inside to Jared Bueller. Back to Cox. Over to Luxoric. Trapiti gets that steal. He's racing up the court now. Trapiti over to Dakota Parker. Back to Trapiti. Trapiti kicks it to Cam Parker. Crosses over. Cam with that pull up hits the back iron. Uh, Luke Bueller ends up with it. 221 left to go here in the game. Ooh. Number 20, West Melanson. 
So that's a foul on Lanson. That's his fourth foul. I thought that was going to be a foul on Cam, but I thought, but it, it was a legal swat. That one is up. 218 left to go here. Uh, the score sits at 55 38. We're at Tippecanoe New Valley High School. I'm Nate Roberts. I'm Mitch Smith. You're watching RTC's broadcast of Valley uh, Basketball here against the LaVille Lancers. Morrison deep inbounds to Trapiti. Trapiti is now racing. Cam Parker pull up three. That one's good. Cam Parker for three. Timeout, just out. And, and after that timeout, we'll be right back after this. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, farm personal property, and farm outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at evansagencyrochester.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank, online at firstfederalbanking.com. Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. And so we're back here, uh, 2 11 left to go here in the game. Uh, Tippecanoe New Valley is down against the LaVille Lancers, 56-41, 15-point game. Dove gets that inbound. Back to Cox. Cox is now racing up. Cox over to Exurk. Exurk. Close defense by Trapudi here, trying to get that steal. Exurk now over to Dove. Dove. Exurk now has it. Under two minutes to go here in the game. Here comes Dove. Dove to Cox. He's out racing. Here comes Jared Bueller. Bueller. Cam Parker closely guarding him. Ooh, and that will be Valley Possession. Cam Parker set to inbound. 120 left to go here in the game. Trapiti gets that inbounds. Here comes Trapiti now. He's over at the logo. Yep. Morrison. Ooh. Ooh. That will be out. Poor pass there from Morrison, but. Parker wasn't there in time. I do believe that was one of the goals from Coach Patrick. It's to work on passing. We're seeing the entire squad sub out for LaVille, and we're seeing both old and new faces. Zarnecki. There comes now Dakota Fig. Some fast passing here. We're seeing now uh, Zarnecki. That was stolen. Trapiti will get that easy lay-in. Trapiti now sitting at 14 points. Ooh. That's a holding foul. That's a foul on Dakota Parker. That's his second foul. It will be Valley's 10th. Both teams have hit double digits in foul counts, so. This has been an interesting game on that on that bit. Yes, it has. Fig. It's up. It's good. I've never seen a crowd get so happy over a single free throw. Unless it's to win a game. That one's good. That one's even louder. Probably his first points of the season. Trapiti deep three, too short. That was tipped, and it will be LaVille ball. Some angry crowds we're hearing tonight, Nate. Oh, it will be Valley ball. 
32.2 seconds to go here in the game. Trapiti, here comes Dakota Parker now. Parker to Trapiti. Trapiti to Dakota Parker. Melanson, Cam Parker pull up three. Too short. 19.4 seconds to go here in the game, and it will be a... That's a foul on West Melanson. That's his fifth foul, and I believe he is out. Uh, we're seeing Jalen Potter here for Valley. And we're also seeing uh, Dwight Conley also in. And Bryce Fisher. And Bryce Fisher. We saw a normal we saw a normal change for the maximum foul count, but we also saw two unexpected changes there. Leighton Zarnecki at the line. That one is good. Not as much uh, reaction there as with uh, Fig. But well, we saw some claps. Here comes uh, Zarnecki. It's good. There we go. Parker to inbounds to Trapiti. Trapiti back to Cam Parker. Over to Fisher. Here comes Trapiti. Trapiti to Dwight Conley. Back to Trapiti. Trapiti pull up three. In and out. And that will be out. 1.7 seconds left to go in the game. Austin Dove to inbounds. And the final buzzer sounds. The final score sits at LaVille 60, Tippecanoe Valley 43. Now with, now with this being ended, it is with our honor to say that this is the very last Tippecanoe Valley Vikings broadcast of 2017. And from here at RTC Sports to you, I'm Nate Roberts. I'm Mitch Smith. And we both wish you a and Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas and a Happy New Year. Year. Thank you and goodbye.